Good morning, friends. Welcome to Storytime. I'm so glad you could join me today. Why don't we start off by singing The More We Get Together. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. That was great. That song makes me really happy. So let's sing it one more time. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Great job, friends. Today we're going to read a book all about nature. Nature is something we see all year round, but in the summer, we kind of do more things in nature. We go for walks, we go to the beach, we do all sorts of things that are outside because it's nice and warm out. So let's read a book all about nature, okay? This book is called Nature Girls. It was written and published, nope, it was written and illustrated by Ak Aki. This book was published by Godwin Books of Henry Holt and Company, which is a part of Macmillan Publishers. So a big thank you to them for letting us share it with you today. This is the dedication and it says to my sisters, Evelyn and Annie. And then these are all the nature girls. We have Laura, Miffy, Annie, Rebecca, Jane, Vanessa, June, Melanie, Sarah, Kathleen, Lucy, Zoe, Kirsten, Tilly, Joy, and Emily. That's a lot of girls. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's a big number. And it looks like they are in two lines of eight. We're nature girls. We must explore. We pack our bags. We're out the door and off we go there's much to see we'll start our journey by the sea they're at the beach what kind of things are the nature girls doing they're snorkeling and floating in the water looking at animals like crabs taking a rest eating a snack and climbing up a palm tree. She kind of looks like she's a monkey. They're doing all sorts of fun things. A pod of dolphins swim nearby. The fish come too. We all say hi. Look at all those colorful fish and the dolphins. Dolphins are not fish. Dolphins are mammals, just like we are mammals. I think that's right. It's time to go. We march along. We smile at birds and share their song. I see several birds in this picture, and I also see some other animals. I see a cockatoo and a hummingbird and a toucan and some other birds I don't know the names of, but I see this little guy. I don't know what that is. Do you know what animal that might be? Hmm. Got a long tail, some ears and big eyes. I wonder if it's a bush baby. 
I'll have to look it up and let me know. I see a frog and an iguana and a butterfly. On we trek across the land. Up ahead, we see some sand. They must be in the desert. So they've been to the sea and under the sea. They've been in the jungle or the rainforest maybe. And now they're in the desert. They're always wearing the appropriate gear. They've got right hats on here so that they don't get sunburn. I see they found a salamander or a lizard. There's a scorpion over there and some type of fox. They're drinking water to stay hydrated. There's an eagle. A camel pads up to our side. He takes us for a bumpy ride. Where would you like best to sit if you were on a camel? I don't think that would be a very fun place to sit on a camel. She's not even sitting. She's just hanging onto the tail. I think probably up here is where I would like to sit. In tall grass, we creep up slow all around our buffalo. Now they must be in the um, African jungle or desert. Maybe the Sahara Desert or the African Savannah. These are the buffalo. And then there's elephants. And these are some type of deer. I can't remember their name though. I see an ostrich and zebra and a leopard. See ya, planes. It's been nice. Now we're off to find some ice. Going in the plane. Where do you think they're going to go next? What kind of places have ice? Maybe, well, Michigan gets ice and it's really cold. But what other places? Hmm. Let's turn the page and find out. The tundra has snow everywhere. Look how cute an Arctic hare. The tundra is a really cold place up in Northern Canada. Oh, friends, I missed a page. This says a tawny owl, she sees us too. She hoots a question, who are you? This is a cold place. You can tell because they're wearing warm jackets. And this girl, she, you can, she can see her breath. There's a moose. Then they're in the tundra, which is northern Canada. It's very cold up there. There's one more stop on our big trip. We've got our compass and our ship. My goodness, there always seems to be someone hanging from something. Where do you think they're going now? They're in a boat. I can see a whale. That's its spout. That's where it blows water out of. That's how it breathes. Whales are also mammals. Oh, they're in the forest. The forest's lush and filled with sound. Look at all this life we've found. See a centipede. I think that's a red panda. Maybe a chipmunk. What other animals or living things do you see? There sure are a lot of them. Oh, I like this chipmunk. He's got some food in his cheeks. Chipmunks have pouches in their cheeks that they can store nuts and other food in. Look, this girl is puffing up her cheeks to look like the chipmunk. It's hard to leave, but we must go. 
There's more to see and do and know. This says meet the biomes. A biome is a community of plants and animals that covers a large area of the earth. The climate, how hot or cold it is, how much rain or snowfall there is, which is measured over a long period of time, helps determine what kind of plants and animals can live in that area. So we have aquatic biomes, which is where there's salt water or fresh water. So the oceans are salt water, but the lakes like the Great Lakes or lakes that are near us that we can swim in, um, those are fresh water. There are so many plants and creatures that live below the surface. Water covers nearly three quarters of the Earth's surface. There's a lot to explore. Then there's a desert biome. Deserts are dry. There isn't much rain. No more than 10 inches a year. Wow, that is not a lot of rain, friends. I think we've had more rain than that in the past two weeks. In many deserts, days are very hot and nights are very cold. And we have the grassland biomes. Grasslands are covered with grasses. There aren't many trees. It does rain some, more than in the desert, but less than in the forest. Many animals are grazers or grass eaters. We have the tundra. The tundra is the coldest. No trees live here. There is a thick layer of frozen ground called permafrost. Not many animals live here year round. Finally, the forest biome. Forests are full of trees and other woody plants. They get more rain than the other biomes. There are lots of different kinds of animals. That is the end of that book. Well, friends, what did you think about that story? I liked it. I like learning all about nature and biomes. That's a really cool word. It just means habitats, where things are and how they, the environment is, where animals live. You know what the coolest thing about nature is? looking at all the animals and seeing things that you can see. One of the ways that people look at animals and see things that are far away is by using binoculars. Binoculars is just a fancy word for, they kind of look like this, you know, and people look through them and they see things that are far away. Now, normally I know we sing a song right about now, but instead, I thought I would tell you about a really cool and simple craft that you can do at home. All you need is two toilet paper tubes or paper towel tubes. If you only have one paper towel tube, you can just cut it in half. And then all you have to do is take your paper towel tubes or toilet paper tubes and tape them together like this. And you can glue or tie a string like that. And then you have your own binoculars and you can decorate them however you want. You can color them with crayons or markers, whatever you feel like. And then you just take them outside and see what you can see. And there you have it, you have your own binoculars. If you make this craft at home, I would love to see a picture of it. I think it would be so much fun. I'm gonna take my toilet paper tubes and make my own craft and then I'll post a picture of what I did, okay? Story time is all over now, friends, so let's sing Open Shut Them together. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chin. Open wide your little mouth. But do not let them in. Great job, friends. And remember, summer reading is happening right now. And the secret code for watching this story time is stories, S-T-O-R-I-E-S, 720. That's stories, 720. I hope you had fun watching today. See you next time for story time, friends. Bye.